so today I'm going to continue on cleaning the engine bay. As you guys just saw, I power washed the whole thing. Uh, always cover up your distributor because water tends to leak into here and then you're going to have to take it apart to dry it out. Took off the intake, I took off the battery and I covered, of course, the intake. It's not looking too bad, but today I'm going to be doing my valve cover. I'm going to paint it and I'm also going to replace the gasket while I'm at it. And then I also, if you guys can see, I took out the strut bar. I painted that and uh, I painted that and I painted, what are the pieces? There was a bracket that goes right here, bracket that goes right here. And I told you guys, somebody's always revving. But I painted a couple things. I painted that bracket. Uh, I'll insert the clips right here. But yeah, they came out really nice. And then, uh, but yeah, so today I'm just gonna do that. I'll show you guys the whole process. Okay, so to start off by pulling out all your spark plug wires. Out the way. And then, I'm gonna take off this clamp. There you go. Take out all the tins. Once they're all out, pry up on it a bit. Peel up the old valve cover gasket. So, for the video, I'm not going to be doing too much explaining on the uh, uh, painting the valve cover process. I'm going to just go through it real quick, but I'm not going to go too in depth. I mean, there's so many videos out there about it on how to do it. And I mean, if you want to see a good video on it, I mean, go to Chris Fix. And if you think I'm going to make a better video than Chris Fix, you're tripping. That's the GOAT. I didn't even know that dude had like 10 million subscribers. Or more at this point. I don't know. I just saw the other day. But I was like, God damn. So I got kind of lucky that these came off separate from the valve cover. Because sometimes they get like wedged in there. And it's a bitch to get them out. All right, so first things first, we're gonna use some aircraft remover. This stuff is the best. It'll literally melt off your your valve cover paint. You don't have to do any sanding or anything like that. And somebody had told me that uh, they had discontinued it or like stopped selling it everywhere, but they had it right there at AutoZone, so. So you lay it down thick, brush, to move it around. I couldn't find a brush, so I grabbed this. I'm sorry if it's hard for you guys to see. I started kind of late. Move it around everywhere. And yeah, you just let it sit for about 30 minutes, or at least until you feel like it's, it's covered as much as you need it to be. And then if you need more on there, just put more. But like I said, I'm gonna talk about the stuff quick not too detailed just because there's a lot of videos out there for it all right so I ended up sadly not recording as much as I wanted to because everything literally was fighting me um, so I ended up trying to melt off the paint on the valve cover with um, the aircraft remover and it uh, 
I heard, like, literally the AutoZone guy, when I was buying it, told me that the, uh, like, formula changed and it's not as good. And I was telling him, I was like, I think I recently used it and it wasn't bad. And he was like, well, I'm just letting you know what I heard. And I was like, okay. And then, so, I mean, it's trash now. Like, it, I let it sit. What It didn't do a thing. Then I, I tried to sand it a bit. And then I put another coat and it wasn't doing anything. Like, it just, I mean, I was at it for, like, maybe, like, Two and, a, two and a half hours with the aircraft remover on there and it didn't do anything. So I literally had to, with my die grinder, just go around the whole thing. And I mean, it it came out all right. I mean, it it could have been better, but I mean, for what it is, it came out it came out really good. It's just some spots you can kind of see right there, right there. But, so I had to do that all by hand. And I mean, that took me a while. And then I accidentally, shaved down some of these letters a bit more than I wanted to so when I ended up painting it and having to take off the uh, paint on the letters it you know kind of it was really hard to do it so that was that then the gasket the valve cover gasket I got for it was wrong so I didn't end up recording any of that and I pretty much I like these sections from right here right here and right here and right here were too long so it didn't overlap like it was supposed to. And so I ended up just cutting it like short from like here, here, there and there, just to get a slight bit of that arch and then just filled it up with Honda Bond. And I mean, it's hasn't been leaking. It's been holding up and came out good. I mean, overall, it, it looks a million times better. I ended up also sanding this thing down, painting that. And if you guys wanna see before and after pictures, I know I recorded like the before, in uh, one of the other videos if you guys want to go check that out but if you guys want to see like really better before and after pictures you guys can go to my instagram it's the same thing jaffa theory but i ended up painting this because i mean that it looked horrible i painted that i'm trying to think because i did this a little minute ago i painted the strut bar like i told you guys and i mean that came out amazing i put new hardware on the ends hardware right there on the top of the struts those um I'm trying to think what else I painted that day. I painted that bracket right there. Um but yeah, I mean it it came out really nice. I mean it, now opening this engine bay. Oh yeah, I painted the uh I painted this intake tubing as well. Um the grommet that goes there or the uh sensor that goes there I don't have, so this piece ended up kind of taking some of the paint off, but I think pa that painting it black made it look way better. This filter is ruining everything, but for now it's fine. Honestly, I really want an OEM one, but that looks really good. Then um, I had put in a black top battery to make it, you know, not stand out as much with that green one, but the battery that I have isn't good anymore. I thought it was still good, but it isn't. But I also ended up painting this skunk two part, it's just straight silver. Looks way better instead of it saying skunk two. But yeah, I mean, it came out it came out really good. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if, you know, you guys have any suggestions on what to do next. I'm thinking it's probably the best it's gonna get for now. Uh, next, I do need to get headers for sure. When I ended up doing the muffler, the OEM muffler in it, I told you guys it was still kind of loud, but it was only header noise. And I didn't know why, and I thought maybe it was just to where it meets the cat. So I lifted it up, I couldn't really see anything. So then I took it to a shop and just told them like, you know, put a new gasket for me. And they were like, no, it's not your gasket. You literally have like a hole in your headers. I guess at one point somebody went over something too hard and literally gashed a hole like this big into it. And so now it's, it's super loud. I mean, it's annoying. So I just need to get some new headers and then maybe one day take off this bracket and uh, paint that. And from there, I mean, there isn't, a crazy amount of stuff I could do and so at least I pull the whole engine out one day and you know get the whole engine base sprayed but that won't be until after the whole car is painted but so for now it's coming out good let me know what you guys think and yeah I'll catch you guys on the next one peace